Hi, this is Sue Shields with Paradise on a Budget. I'm preparing to have a get together with Pat and Charlie on Saturday. We're going to have an Italian night. So I'm getting kind of a little jump on some of the things so that I don't have to spend all day on Saturday cooking and then be too tired to entertain. Today I'm going to be making some French bread that I will make into garlic bread. And it's really pretty simple if you have a stand mixer, you don't have to do the kneading, the mixer will do it for you. So the ingredients that I'm gonna to use today are six cups of all-purpose flour. Um, I'm going to be using um, three, actually two and a half packs of the all-purpose already active yeast. I will have uh, some warm water, two cups, and I have greased my pan and put cornmeal, it's sprinkled on the bottom. So that is all set. I'm gonna start with just two cups of the six cups of flour and put that into my mixer. And then I have a one and a half teaspoons of salt. And I'm just going to slowly mix that up. I always want to do these things on low and that's why I have this. So I don't get flour all over me and my face and my clothes. That should be mixed up pretty well. I haven't made this too often, so I'm just checking my recipe to make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, now we're going to stir in our two cups of warm water. Here's my two and a half packs of the yeast. I'm going to scrape down some of the yeast stuck on the top here. We want that down into warm water. And then I need to just find a spatula. This will work. Just want to get everything off the sides and down into the bowl. Now we're going to take the four remaining cups of flour and we're going to add that. Thank you. 
take a minute and scrape this all down again. Now we're just going to let it go, let it knead until the bowl is pretty clean and everything is all stuck together. Well, it's working up nicely. We're going to put our dough into a greased bowl. Once we put it in the bowl, we'll turn it one time so it gets some of the grease on the top. We'll cover it, put it in a nice warm place, and let it rise until it's double in size, which is usually about an hour. And you need to watch this. If it's not all caught up, it may need a little bit more flour. And it does look like I need... Just a tad more flour. there. Okay, we're going to let this knead for about eight minutes and I'll be right back. Yep, it needed just a little bit more flour, but now we've got it. It's going to come out of the bowl perfectly clean. Just dump it out here into the bowl. Yep, it's very elastic. It's what we want. So now we've got it in here. We're going to take it and just turn it over sliding it against the side so we get some of the grease on all of it. And then we're going to cover it and set it in a nice warm place. I'm not lucky enough to have one of those ovens that has a proofing temperature, so we'll just have to let it go for an hour or so and see what happens. Thanks. Hi, we're back again. Our dough has more than doubled in size, so we're going to take it out of the bowl. We're going to divide it into two
I need a knife. <laughs> I've got one here. We're good. So we're making two loaves out of this. Okay, we've divided it into two, and now we're going to roll each of these into a triangle. Did I say triangle? I meant rectangle. <laughs> Not quite with it here. Really nice, got lots of nice air bubbles in there. When you have it, the length and size that you want it. I need a little bit of water for my fingers. We're going to just roll this up. Side seems a little bit. There we go. We're going to wet the edge so that it will stick. Then we will place it on our cookie sheet, which, okay, I made it too long. So let's cut this one in half. We got two on that one. We'll make two more. We're going to let these rise for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we'll brush them with egg white and put them in the oven at 350 degrees. I'll be back. Hi, we're back again. We're ready to bake our bread. So we've had it doing its second rise. I'm going to put a slit in the top. We're going to bake them at 375 for about, oh, let me see how many minutes it says. And then we're going to rebrush them on the top with an egg wash. So total baking time will be 20 minutes and then an additional 15 to 20 minutes.
And there we are.